Hello, my awesome Cancerians. I missed you guys. Hope you're doing wonderful. Hope you had a uh, relaxing weekend. I can't believe how fast it went by. Cancerians, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cancerians. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. For the sign of cancer, for cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming up for cancer in their life? And how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for cancer in their life? And how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see what's showing up for you, Cancerians. Hmm. Yeah, this is you going through major changes yeah there's going to be communication if it hasn't happened already there's going to be communication between you and your soulmate but you decided not to put any more work effort energy into this connection although you want to reconcile to make amends yeah you want to find peaceful grounds you view this person as not putting work into this for some reason, whether they couldn't or didn't want to, you view them as not taking action, not communicating, not offering a commitment. Yeah, you see, look at this, a lot of silent treatments, problems with communication. This is you uh, letting go of this connection. You want to uh, let it go because you feel like it's not working out. It's draining you. Yeah. Yeah. So this is for those of you Cancerians that decided to let go of this relationship connection because you feel like this person, they're showing up as reverse king of wands. You view them as not putting work into this. Yeah, that's how you view them. In other words, please show us. They do want to reconcile with you though, but they're not really taking action for some reason. You feel like it's the end, death card. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for cancers? How is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? This is you uh, reminiscing of this person, thinking of the good times. Um, yes, you would like to have a new beginning with them, but only if they showed some kind of work being put in. Uh, yeah, nothing is changing in your eyes. Yeah. A lot of confusion, unanswered questions, hidden things showing up here, like things are being hidden from you. Uh, so maybe this person is trying to protect you, or uh, maybe they're scared of your judgment if you know certain things about them or what they're thinking, feeling. You've been waiting very patiently to see what happens. Yeah, you see? Look how guarded you are. You let this person go. You told them exactly how you feel, what you think. So you were very honest you didn't sugarcoat anything. This is you very guarded with your heart, not trusting the situation anymore. But you do wish to make amends with them at least. Yeah. You are tired. You don't want more of the same. You want some new beginning. But you don't feel this person is going to put work into this. Let's see what they are going through. First, we're going to clarify this. This is you. Walking away from toxic people, toxic situations, uh, letting go of anything that is no longer serving you for your highest good. Yeah, this is you recognizing your standards. And was, please show us what's coming up for Cancerians. How is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you want some kind of new beginning in your life. You want new, yeah, well, there's going to be communication. Yeah, there's... There's going to be a breakthrough communication after silent treatments, no communication. You see, this was a toxic situation. You see, look at this. Uh, so you released it because you didn't feel 
it was working out for you. You see, there was something toxic about the situation and you had to let it go. Whether it was a third party involvement or whatever it was, it was toxic. You see, the universe recognizes it as toxic. You had to let it go. Something was done wrong, incorrectly. Yeah, you see, that's why, again, you're so very guarded with your heart, not trusting this situation at all. You view this situation, this connection, as toxic in your life and that you need to walk away from it. Yeah. So maybe they disagree with you. Maybe they don't understand it, but that's how you view it based on everything that transpired, that happened, that was said, communicated in the past. You feel like the best thing for you to do is to let it go. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry, you guys are going through. Yeah, you see, you endured a lot of heartbreak in this connection. Yeah. So I don't know if your soulmate is aware of how you felt, but this is you feeling heartbroken, very disappointed, letting go. Yeah, you're letting go. Mm, secrets, secrets. Secrets only destroy relationships. So there are things, be yeah, there are things being hidden. Uh, your person is showing up as uh, very powerful, uh, respected by a lot of people at the job or business, but uh, not expressing emotions easily, not uh, communicating, not um, initiating communication too eagerly. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer this time. Oh, this one over here tries to hide from me. Here it is, extra message. Justice, wow. This person loves you a lot. So it looks like you guys misunderstand each other because there's not enough communication. This person wants to do things right. So if something was done wrong, they want to fix it, correct it. They love you a lot, genuinely. King of Cups with two cups. Uh, this person is loving you deeply, genuinely, and they're trying to figure out how you feel towards them at this time. Yeah, they feel unbalanced. They're not sure how to handle this, but they know they have to do something. They want new beginning. Let's see their subconscious position. Yeah, you see, deep down inside, they want a long-term relationship with you. That's what they're yearning for, long-term relationship because of how they feel about you. They have a lot of respect for you. They view you as holding Empress energy, which means you have very high standards. You're not chasing them. You're not desperate for anyone's attention. Yeah. They respect you a lot. They see you as moving on with your life, as very powerful person, independent person, strategic. Yeah. Look how much they miss you. So you guys are definitely not together right now. This person is missing you a lot. This is them missing you, feeling sad, abandoned. Yeah, you see? This is them feeling sad. They're looking at everything, uh, everything that happened, what was said, um, trying to be very introspective. Wow, this person wants you. They want to correct whatever was uh, done wrong, whatever errors were made or mistakes. This person wants to make amends with you. Look at this, the best card in the whole deck. Are they scared that you're done with them? Yeah, you see? So it looks like um, they didn't meet you halfway. They didn't put work into this, whether they couldn't because something was going on in their life or they were scared to, for whatever reason, they didn't meet you halfway. Yeah, they didn't put work into it like you did, you see? This is them feeling stressed out. There's a lot going on under, at their job or business. Yeah, a lot of stress to do with money, finances, job. This person is worried that you may reject them or tell them no. Hmm, the sun, the best card in the whole deck. Look at this, this person is coming towards you, three major arcana, so this person is coming towards you. Yeah, they're going to try to work things out, and uh, first of all, they're going to try to read you to see if uh, there's a possibility of a new chapter between you two because of how they feel about you. Let's see. Yeah, I see a lot of miscommunication between you two. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at the stressful energy, you guys 
have been through a lot together. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how's the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time. Wow. You see, this is how they view you. Marriage material, somebody of high value. They respect you a lot, you see. They have a lot of respect for you. They're not able to let you go. So they did, in fact, uh, try to let you go, not think of you, not miss you, and they're not able to do so. This is them wanting to come towards you. Yeah, you see. This person wants to offer you something, but they worrying. Yeah, you see, this person is worried that somebody else is going to offer you a relationship. So something is hidden in this connection. You see, this stands for betrayal, uh, deceit, uh, lies, some kind of uh, secret behavior, things being hidden on purpose. Maybe this person didn't want to confuse you or worry you something to do with their life uh, or maybe they they may be some of them could be in a karmic connection with somebody else you see yeah you see this person is planning to communicate with you to yeah you see something is hidden because here's dc showing up again something is not clear uh you guys need to clear things up to understand each other better yeah um we're gonna go into your extended reading Cancerians and ask about this person's true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the summit connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family members, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Cancerians, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.